Welcome to Let's Talk Sports in South Jersey, home of South Jersey sports. Let's get started by talking about our local teams first. The Philadelphia Wings are 3-1 in their lacrosse season. They will take on the New England Black Wolves on Saturday. Let's get win number four. Go Wings, go! The Temple Owls are 9-6 on their college basketball season. They are on a losing streak. They will take on Wichita State on Wednesday and SMU on Saturday. Let's get win number 10. Fight, fight, fight for the cherry and the white. The LaSalle Explorers are 9-4 on the season. They will take on UMass on Wednesday. Let's get win number 10. The St. Joseph's Hawks are 3-13 on the season. When will they break their losing streak? They will take on Rhode Island on Wednesday and Pennsylvania on Saturday. Let's get win number 4 of the season. Go St. Joe's! The Villanova Wildcats are 12-3 in their college basketball season. They will take on DuPont on Tuesday and UConn on Saturday. Let's get win number 13, Nova! The Penn Quakers are 7-6 in their college basketball season. They will take on St. Joe's on Saturday. Let's get win number 8. The Drexel Dragons are 10-8 in their college basketball season. They will take on Elon on Thursday and William & Mary on Saturday. Let's keep winning! The Philadelphia Flyers are 23-16-6 and, and have 52 points. They will take on the St. Louis Blues on Wednesday, Montreal Canadiens on Thursday, and the Los Angeles Kings on Saturday. Let's get win number 24. Go Flyers, go! The Philadelphia 76ers are 25-15 on the season. They will take on the Brooklyn Nets on Wednesday and Monday, Chicago Bulls on Friday, and the New York Knicks on Saturday. Let's get win number 26. Go Sixers! Good luck to all our local teams! It's time to talk about Bill Cowher. Longtime Steelers coach Bill Cowher was the first to be inducted into the Hall as part of the Centennial Class on Saturday ahead of the Tennessee Titans Baltimore Ravens Divisional Round Playoff game. Cowher will become the second Steelers coach in the Hall of Fame joining his predecessor Chuck Knoll, 1969-1961, through 1961, and the 22nd primary Steelers inductee when he is enshrined this summer. Three of his former players, Jerome Bettis, Demonte Dawson, Rod Woodson, already owned gold jackets, and Cal will soon join them. The Steelers icon was one of eight coaching finalists to make the shortlist and one of only two to be selected for enshrinement. Cowell coached the Steelers for 15 seasons, from 1992 to 2006, leading Pittsburgh to a 149-90-1 regular season record. Ten playoff appearances and eight division titles, including five in his first six seasons. He took home AP Coach of the Year honors in his first year on the job. Under Cowell, the Steelers made two Super Bowl appearances, 30 and 35 and won one in 2005. The Steelers won three World Playoff games over the Bengals, Colts, and Broncos to reach Super Bowl 35 before hoisting the Lombardi following a 21-10 win over the Seahawks. Cal stepped down following the 2006 season. Congratulations to Bill Cowell for being inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. It's time to talk about Jimmy Johnson. Former Dallas Cowboys and Miami Dolphins coach Jimmy Johnson on Sunday was officially named as the second member of the Pro Football Hall of Fame's Centennial Class. Hall of Fame President David Baker made the announcement to Johnson during Fox Sports' halftime show just before the start of the second half of the NFC Divisional Round game between the Green Bay Packers and Seattle Seahawks. He won two Super Bowls with the Cowboys and built the bulk of a roster that won a third title for the team after his departure. When fully revealed, the Centennial class will include 10 seniors candidates as well as three contributors to go with Cowell and Johnson. The class was chosen as part of the NFL's 100th anniversary. The Blue Ribbon Panel, which included members of the Hall's Board of Selectors, League Historians, 
Hall of Famers, as well as New England Patriots coach Bill Belichick chose the class from a list of 38 finalists during a meeting at the Hall of Fame on Wednesday. The 38 finalists were chosen from a list of almost 300 nominees over the course of the past five months. The Hall of Fame's class of 2020 comprised of modern era players will be selected February 1st in Miami Beach, Florida, the day before Super Bowl 54. Congratulations to Jimmy Johnson for being inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame. It's time for NFL Championship Round Picks. I went 2-2. Two two. San Francisco is going to the NFC Championship. Tennessee lives off in Baltimore. Houston makes a crash landing, and Green Bay packs the Seahawks. It's championship weekend. Which teams will win in advance to Super Bowl 54? Let's get started with the Tennessee Titans versus Kansas City Chiefs. A rematch of Week 10. The Tennessee Titans defeated the Kansas City Chiefs 38-35 on a blocked field goal in Week 10. The Titans won 28-12 at Baltimore, while the Chiefs won 51-31 in a high-scoring game. I have the Kansas City Chiefs winning and going to the Super Bowl. Chiefs, Chiefs, Chiefs! Green Bay Packers versus San Francisco 49ers. These two teams met Week 12 in the 2019 NFL season. The Packers lost 37-8. The 49ers won 27-10 over the Minnesota Vikings. I have the Green Bay Packers winning and becoming NSC champions. Go Pack Go! Check in next week and we will see how everyone did. That is a wrap. You can check me out on my podcast at Stefan Sports Radio or through the podcast app or this YouTube channel. And you can listen to me on Saturday nights at 6 o'clock on 1360 WNJC in Cherry Hill. Thank you for watching and keep those comments on and we will talk to you next week.